Hi, welcome to Rock and Metal Invasion. My name is Steve. Coming up on the show today, we're going to be looking at album covers. Now, I've got a very special guest here. I've got Mrs. Rock and Metal Invasion here joining me. Now, she's going to be doing a little bit of a critique of some of the records I have in my collection. Now, I've had my son on the show. I've had my daughter on the show, so I thought, let's get the wife on the show as well. The wife. The wife. She the likes wife. That. Okay, now... Um, <laughs> My wife's name is Siren, and she uh, has worked as an artist. So, you know, she, she knows a little bit about photography. She knows a little bit about uh, creating art, and she often looks at my album covers. Now, first, she's not a big hard rock or heavy metal fan, but she puts up with it, and she puts up with me playing music, which I really appreciate. But um, And she's noticed my collection growing and growing over the years, uh, and uh, from time to time she sees a record... Uh, arrive and it takes note of the album cover. Now, a lot of these album covers, of course, came out in the 80s, uh, where perhaps um, they could be a little bit sexist. Would that be, would that be correct? Sexist, yes. On the lower end of the scale, they're sexist. Oh, on the lower end. Okay, excellent. All right. So what happened was uh, Siren went through, she had a look through my uh, record collection, and I don't know anything, I don't know what she's chosen. She's chosen some records that she wants to um, just make some comments on. Yes, so Mr. Rock and Metal Invasion, mm. um, I do love looking at your album covers, and mm. I love looking at them because they shock me. Um, they challenge my personal feminism. So anyway, I've just I've I've chosen some things on the basis of art, but mm. largely on the basis of um, misogynist content. Right, we yes. love that. So, my first theme is women who are in big trouble. <laughs> um, and they might need saving, but your middle guys are going to actually exploit them, not mm. save them. So let's start with Slaughter. Yeah, right. So, well, how do you like to do this? Just like yeah, this. Just, yeah. Slaughter, here's um, a beautiful, scantily clad woman mm. who is... Um, Cuffed with leather cuffs to one of those, what would you say, steer wheel things, mm -hmm. and a guy's going to throw knives at her, and she can't escape, and she might die. Mm. Yeah, she doesn't look happy. Mm. There are blades scraping close to her head and her arm. Yeah, that some, woman's in trouble. Sometimes on the back cover you'll see like a follow-up, um, but there's no follow-up, so we don't really know what happened. We just know that this woman is in danger. She's young, she's beautiful, she's in danger. She does That's feature. That's metal. She does feature on another album cover, I think, on their live. Well, with EP. those boobs, why wouldn't she? But I mean, yeah. we can move it along that? to another woman who is really not in a good way. This is called what is this called? Uh, the band's Leg Diamond. Town bad girl. So this is pretty sexy. Mm. However, she is on all fours. In a position that really looks like she's been knocked down. Mm. She's not like in a voluntary, I'm happy to be here on all fours kind of pose. She's looking a bit desperate and roughed up. Well, she's a bad girl. Well, she's Maybe. a bad girl, but um, she's lost everything from the waist down except her boots. <coughs> her breasts are hanging out. And... Mm. Um, she looks afraid in this picture, and that's the intention from the artist. She mm. looks afraid, and okay. she looks like um, she looks like a victim. What do you think about that statement? Well, you could be right, Simon. I never thought of it like that. I thought she was just up for a good time, and um, you know. Yeah, was... so that's an interesting reading, right? I think most men looking at that would be like, "All right, well, um, yeah, I'm about to." Jump in on that. Yeah. But I think most women would look at that and see, I mm. mean, overtones of a rape scene. Oh, okay. And that's Ooh, metal. That's putting me off that album a little bit. Okay, let's move on. So I think metal's conscious of this in their art choices. So the next one is, I don't even know what you call that. It's not a word. <laughs> that's t uh, TKO. Yeah, it's not a word. What does it stand for? 
Oh, the knockout? The TKO, so in boxing. I've never heard of that. She's not that sporty either. But, so in this picture, we have a woman who's just been knocked out. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. I mean, it's it's supposed to be comical. Because, yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be comical. Yes. But is actually hitting a woman ever comical? No, it isn't. Not really, is no, it? No, no. A man hitting a woman out and unconscious is not really funny, Kitty Little. But maybe she's sleeping before going off to do some boxing. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard my husband say. That woman is not sleeping. That woman is being hit asleep. by a man. And frankly, he's, he's she's in such a state of undress, she's probably going to get raped in an unconscious oh, state. Can we stop with the rape? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just about to launch into my heaviest rape. Okay, now I, I have commented on this one myself on the show, actually. Florina, head games. So, in this picture, we have a girl who looks terrified. And she's also looking about 13 years old. Yeah, she actually she is, like, yeah. like 14, I think. Okay, so she's underage. Mm. She's wearing a really short skirt. She's wearing high heels, which we all know 14-year-olds can't walk in. A largely backless top, and you can see her ribs because she's really young. That's what a young woman's body looks like. She's in the men's toilets. There's urinals on the wall. Um, mm. And yeah, she looks terrified. I think she's trying to rub possibly her name off the wall. That's mm. my interpretation mm. of that. Mm. But somebody's come in, somebody's found her, she's turned around, and she's frightened for her life. Yeah, that's not a good one. I, I did, like I said, I have commented on this one before. Um, it was 1979, it even does, less educated than we were in the 80s, but, um, yeah. Cool. So, moving away from the theme that you didn't like so much, and just moving straight to murder of woman. Um, and we have, what is this? Get hate. The bride yep. wore red. The bride in this circumstance is actually wearing white, but she has been stabbed multiple times. So now her wedding dress is red. Can you see that? Mm. So, well, I don't know what to, to really say about that. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I've never really thought <coughs> of it the way you're describing it. Um, I mean, the the driver is also dead. So I would point that out. That he looks set to be dead as well. But the focus is definitely this beautiful woman who's off to get married and she's dead. Yeah. She's been slaughtered. Oh, well, yeah. Some random murder maybe has happened. But, yep. uh, oh, there we go. There's a little bit more information on the back there. Yeah, more pictures of a woman with a bleeding nose and looking yeah. in pain. Neat. Neat. Maybe someone was a bit grumpy about her getting married. Maybe, but yeah. it does just boil down to violence against women, doesn't it? Yeah, all right. That um, concludes my violence against women thing. Excellent. However, I wanted to end on a happy note. Oh, good. Because um, it's not all bad, heavy metal in the 80s. Mm. And there's one thing that, from a feminist perspective, I really appreciate about mm. the album covers. Mm. Do you know what that is? No. You would have no idea. I've got no idea. You, I mean, it's a hard thing yeah. to find. Yeah. So, this is the only one I could find because I think that most of my examples would be in the sneaker fold, but I was only looking at the covers. Mm. So, Rio, mm. Sex Crimes. Now, the title, Sex Crimes, perhaps takes me back to my former um, thing. Yeah, we're in trouble again. the cover, I love this cover. Yeah. I love this cover. I was surprised when you told me you loved it. Yeah. And the reason I love this cover is the breasts are natural. Ah, uh, yes. And they are marvellously natural breasts. Marvelous. I'd just like to sing the praises for these breasts mm. for a moment. Sure. They are probably... There's lots of guys watching this. Yeah, yeah, I would say that these are an A-cup breast. Mm. And this woman is stunningly in proportion. She's really toned. She's nicely tanned. She's got beautiful skin. Mm. She has got lovely nipples. Mm. They're quite luscious. They're not, like, okay. hard or cold. <laughs> I love these breasts. This is breasts. supposed to be a music show. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you never see natural breasts like this <laughs> in, on covers these days. In, in, <laughs> in modern music, there are no natural breasts. Mm. They're all... Um, Silicon breasts. Mm. So, I love this. I think this is a really empowering image. I would like to see this More aspect of 80s album covers come back. Mm. Because this woman is hot. She's a yeah, sexual sure. fantasy. And she has got A-cup breasts. 
And it doesn't diminish her hotness no. at all. Natural body. No, love absolutely. It. Like when I was like 16 and I saw this album cover, yeah, I, I, I didn't think, oh, they're not nat- you know, their natural breasts are not that into it. But yeah, I was looking at it as in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're up now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I also like the album. All right. So there we go. So that's a bit of an insight into um, this is rock and metal invasions um, opinion of some of the uh, album covers I have uh, in my collection. I don't think she's a big fan, but it's nice that she ended with a positive. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.